diarrhea. <laughs> so please explain that to Kamala Harris. Make a lot of noise for Sammy Obey. You did it. You did it. I took extra long to see if you would keep clapping. You did it. <laughs> it gets real sad when they stop. They're like, yeah, we give it five. Um, one, I don't, this is so weird that they didn't come. It's like, it's like the best seat in the house, you know? Like front and center, they just didn't wanna. Or maybe, this is my first time here, maybe they always keep that open, you know, just to remind us that like, we don't need to be the center of attention, you know? Uh, I imagine at least a few of you know who I am. That's great. Uh, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Hassan Minaj. I uh, <laughs> just have a show on Netflix. <sighs> Career is going okay. It's going okay. Just came back from New York City. I love it. New York City is a great city. New York is really the gold standard of diversity, you know? Uh, what I love about New York is like they'll mix cultures in a way. We're like, oh, should I even know you could do that? <laughs> I was in Brooklyn. I went to a Puerto Rican chicken and biscuits restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, it was called Poppies. Sorry, Popeyes. Uh, it's fucking delicious. Got the number six. The seis, as they say. I love, I love to eat. I, I, uh, I love the season of fall. We get a little more hungry. We'll put more spice in the food. Got myself a pumpkin spice latte today. Sold out, full on sold out. Are we, any, are we fans, fans of pumpkin spice latte? All right, what about pumpkin spice latte haters? Fuck, fuck the pumpkin. Fuck yeah. We really felt that strong, like right down the middle, I like it. Seattle, this is, this is your issue. You're the, you're the coffee masters, so they say. You know what I mean? And pumpkin spice, I mean, Starbucks came from here, so pumpkin spice technically came from here, right? I'm going to put that on you. <laughs> I just like that it's tasty and different. But I have a friend, she's like hooked. She, she goes crazy. She gets like pumpkin spice everything. Pumpkin spice lattes, uses pumpkin spice condoms, like the whole... <laughs> everything pumpkin spice you could do, she does it. I was like, why? I was like, why? Like, what's, what is it for you? And she's just like, I love pumpkin. And I was like, well, to my knowledge, there actually is no pumpkin in the pumpkin spice, right? <laughs> And in Seattle, you're, you're a fine culinary expertise here. A lot of people know that. A lot of pe who, who didn't know that? Who didn't know that there was no pumpkin in the pumpkin spice? Be honest. Be honest. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you for your bravery. A lot of people don't know. There's no pumpkin in the pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice is, is a shorthand for pumpkin pie spice. They couldn't even say pie. They had to take pie out. It's pumpkin pie spice is the actual spice. I call it PP spice for short. It's the PP spice. <laughs> People are just out there fiending for the pee pee, but they think there's pumpkin in it. I told my friend, like, there's no pumpkin in that. She's like, yeah, there is. Why is it orange then? I'm like, I don't know why it's orange. It's not, it's definitely not supposed to be orange. I don't know what the fuck they're putting in there to make it orange. And pumpkin, it's just the spice that they happen to use for pumpkin pie. All it is, it's, it's not a unique spice. It doesn't like grow in a pumpkin pie spice tree. It's a combination of other spices that you can do at home anytime. So, I looked it up. Uh, it's five spices. First two, cinnamon, nutmeg. Easy. That's available in the back of every cafe. You know, you can go to the back, put in some cinnamon, nutmeg, you're already two-fifths of a pee, pee spice, whenever you want. <laughs> the next two, cloves and ginger, which are in chai tea, okay? So you get a chai, put in cinnamon, nutmeg, you're four-fifths pee, pee spice. You're almost there. Now you ask, what is the kicker? What is that secret ingredient? The fifth spice. Does anybody know what the fifth spice on pumpkin pie spice is? Sugar. Sugar, what the fuck is it? Like, <laughs> we, we backtracked, we backtracked here. It's, uh, yeah, that fifth spice is just good old sweet. Uh, it's Splenda. Um, what is it, cinnamon? I did already say cinnamon. That wasn't my, uh, my punchline is cinnamon twice. You thought one cinnamon, it's cinnamon again. Count them separate. Two different sticks. Got to use two different sticks of cinnamon. Who, who, did you have an answer back here? Coriander. Coriander. I like it. That's very creative. Coriander. We're going a little too savory right now. It's, uh, 
I love this. I love Seattle. We really got you guys divided on this one. What's that? Cardamom. Cardamom? Good guess. But no. But no. Cardamom's a little too cardamom's a little too Middle Eastern for this one. This is a good old American. What's that? Clove, I already said clove. Motherfuckers, do you not listen to the jokes? <laughs> Was it nutmeg? Oh, wait, wait, pumpkin. No, motherfucker. <laughs> I already said those. We got cinnamon, we got nutmeg, we got clove, we got ginger, but somebody said it here. Allspice. allspice. I don't know what you guys said over there. It's allspice. It's allspice, which, let me tell you, is not all the spices combined. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Pumpkin spice spice. It's just all spice, and then you mix other spices that are already in there. So all spice. All spice is just one spice. It's the pimento pepper. Usually comes from Jamaica, but for some reason it claims all the spices. <laughs> kind of fucked up. They straight all lives matter the spices and put it all into one. But it's just one, a pimento pepper. Same family as uh, bell peppers, jalapenos, all those little things that you put to make your stuff spicy. So... All I'm saying is, you can go into a Starbucks in June and be like, hey, give me a PP Spice. And they'd be like, uh, we don't do those, it's June? You're like, the fuck you do? <laughs> Order a chai, dump in some cinnamon nutmeg, plop in a jalapeno, you got a PP Spice right there, year round, baby. The more you know. This is a cooking show, by the way. I don't know if you guys, I don't do comedy, I do cooking advice. You should have known by the flannel. I like to think I have somewhat of a refined taste. I, uh, I eat pretty much everything, but there are certain... I don't have food allergies, I have food sensitivities, which is much worse. Because <laughs> nobody gives a fuck about your food sensitivity. Food allergies is like, yo, I could die, be nice to me, you know? Food sensitivity is like, go fuck yourself. Oh, I'm uncomfortable, go fuck yourself. For instance, like, I love seafood. Fucking love seafood. But there's a few fishes that when I eat them, I get a rash. It's usually the bottom feeders. You know who you are, okay? <laughs> I don't fuck with that bottom feeder energy because it makes me all rashy. But it's just sensitivity. Nobody, nobody gives a fuck. But to me, it's like, I don't want it. It ruins my day. So I went and ordered fish tacos in L.A., and I asked the server, I said, uh, can you just tell me what kind of fish is in the fish? Normal question. <laughs> And she was like, I don't know. I was like, uh, uh, can you figure it out? <laughs> it's kind of life or death here. You know what I mean? Like, we need to know. Like, I start sweating. I start panicking. And she's like, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a white fish. I'm like, I didn't ask the race of the fish. <laughs> I wanted to know the type of the fish. White fish isn't really narrowing it down. You know what I mean? White, that's like most of the fishes that we eat are white fishes, you know? Like, if you said black fish, I'd be like, oh, Little Mermaid. But... <laughs> You said, white fish, that's like a thousand fishes. None of them are Ariel. So, so I was like, what is it? Is it tilapia? And she was like, yep. I was like, you just said yes to the first thing I asked. That is not a good sign. You're just gonna, uh, she, so she handed me a menu and it did say tilapia, but it was like stapled on. I'm like, that's not a good sign. You have a high fish turnover here. You don't know what is the fish of the day. But I looked, there was like a picture and it looked like a tilapia. I know my fish is by sight pretty well. When I get fish, I prefer to get it straight from the market. You know what I mean? So you can see the head, you know? You can see the facial expression. I just like to know it was having a good time. You know what I mean? Like fish is, the, the, it's very rare to find happy fish. Like a happy fish to the face is like. <laughs> That's like as happy as a fish gets. I'm telling you, Google happy fish, there's no actual pictures come up. You just get like Finding Nemo clips. There's no happy fish. Sad fish is like there's a little curvature, but very solid difference. It's like. But most of the fishes that you get at the market, they look like. And those fishes are the traumatized fishes. You want to try to avoid those fishes at all costs. You eat those fishes, you have nightmares of getting caught on the Alaskan coast. So you get yourself a happy fish, you know? So I saw the picture, it looked like tilapia, and I was like, all right, okay, I'll fucks with it, I'll fucks with it. I ordered it, and came out. It wasn't, like, it was definitely not even, like, the size of tilapia could be. Like, all the signs were there. But I know my fish is pretty well. To me, it's like cocaine. Like, I put some of my gums, like, no, that's definitely not tilapia. That's, <laughs> that's bottom feeder energy. I'm already feeling the itchiness. But that's where it stops. I mean, that's where it stops. Like, what am I going to do? I'm going to take it back to the manager. And fucking complain like I'm some kind of seafood Karen, you know? <laughs> Nobody's gonna respect that. Like, 
I have to eat a little bit to get the hives to show them, you know? Be like, look what you did to me! You promised me tilapia! Like I was on some kind of fucked up dating site. Like, the pictures showed tilapia! The description showed tilapia! I was catfished! Anybody, anybody feel like being fucked with? Was that this guy? This guy? I, I totally, I totally know you. Okay. Do you know me? Yes. Yeah? Netflix? No, 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 no. You, you don't understand. Every person who follows me online, I follow them back and watch them. I like to know my, you're not online? Well, now you're fucking real weird, man. Now you just, you just walked your way into a roast. The one guy who's not online anywhere. Not even searchable, huh? I mean, maybe. maybe. You don't do any socials? No. Good for you, dude. Good for you. That's, that's, yeah. that's what we all should be doing. <laughs> I didn't have this goddamn career. <laughs> what made you get off? I updated the status to in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't hear that, she said the pivotal moment in which this gentleman got off social media is when she updated his status to in a relationship. <laughs> and he was like, dude, off the market, off the grid, baby. I fucking... <laughs> there ain't no point in being out here no more. <laughs> Facebook was my dating app. This case is closed. <laughs> you know, he's not on social media, so he, he better respond to those texts. I keep track. You keep track? Oh, shit. You got an ankle, ankle bracelet? You know, I share, share location? He's like, fuck yeah, dude. He's like, I'm happily trapped. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what? Like, dude, find a happy relationship, get off social media forever. Like, that's the dream, dude. That's like the American dream right there. But you're on social. That, that's not weird that you're on social, he's not. Oh, yeah, no, I am. I'm, I'm fucking having, having the life. I just posted a status right now while you were talking to me. <laughs> Any topics I haven't covered tonight you'd like me to speak on? Organic. Uh, was that? Organic food. Organic foods? <laughs> Have you seen my, any of my material before? I did a, I did a whole special on eating organic. Uh, and then somebody said, what? Cooking, cooking show? Yes, yeah, it's a cooking show. Middle East. Oh, this is a cooking show, that's right. Yeah. The Middle East, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that? I'm gonna combine all these together. What? It? Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. <laughs> she's the vice president. Oh, she's the vice president. That's right. I was like, who is that? What's that? And then I'll, I'll take one more. What? Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Round it off. Round it off. Somebody requested that we talk about the Middle East. Whoever said that? Are you from the Middle East? Yes. Where are you from? Iran. Iran. Ooh. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Do you have family back there? Do you talk to them? Yes. Are anything protesting? Uh, no, not, not them. Not them. <laughs> it's very, it's an extremely brave thing to do. It's, uh, I wouldn't want my family protesting. My mom was over there. She's like, I'm going to the streets. I'm like, no, 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 mama. You gotta go, go home and watch my stand-up videos. Uh, <laughs> it's not safe out there. If there's one thing you wanted people to know about the Iranian people, what would it be? Don't worry, I'll give, I, we have like three, three more hours. We have good food. We have good food. Yeah. See America? Because like the news coverage of what's going on around is pretty shitty given the fucking height of how drastic it is and how in, in, in the grand scheme of things, it's going to affect all of us. Like on a lot of levels, people don't even know like our relationship with Iran, how it relates to what's going on with Russia right now human rights in general, our general policy in the Middle East and how a lot of our actions have contributed to how fucked up things are right now. But America doesn't give a fuck because they haven't tried Iranian food. <laughs> so what you need to do, Americans, you need to go home and make yourself some chicken kubide <laughs> with some tadig, flip it over, crispy rice, chicken. This is a cooking show, all right? <laughs> but make sure you get the chicken organic. Because if you don't, you risk getting diarrhea! <laughs> so please explain that to Kamala Harris.
Thank you all so much. I'm Samuel Bate. I love you all. I love you all.